Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. When I first started playing with uh, PCs, I didn't know what I was doing, like a lot of folks. I mean, we had instruction manuals, kind of, but uh, the information back in the day wasn't as readily available as it is today. I remember, and I've talked about this before in, in video, or I've blogged about it, I know I've gone public with it. Um, my dad, who you've seen in the YouTube channel recently, uh, had a, a 386 computer, uh, s slow for, for today, uh, today's standards, uh, but then it was a speed demon. And I think it even had a turbo button. <laughs> you could press the turbo button and it would go faster. Uh, so um, he had a five and a quarter inch floppy drive and I wanted to get a three and a half inch floppy drive installed. And this was really, I would say, the first time that I performed any kind of hardware upgrade. And so I, I popped out the innards and was trying to get the, the cables to work and booted it up to get the, the, the floppy drive to be recognized by the BIOS and everything. And as I was doing this, uh, w during one boot up, I uh, placed the floppy drive on the edge of uh, the, uh, the case, really. And it was an exposed case. And it basically, um, I had metal touching metal that it should not have been touching. And a few seconds after boot up, I see smoke rising. <laughs> wow, you want to talk about scaring the bejesus out of somebody. Uh, computers were very expensive back then, and I did not have the money to cover that damage. That being said, uh, the computer was unscathed. Uh, I think the floppy drive died, and I just exchanged it. I went back to one of those superstores, wherever I got it from, and said, I, I don't know, the floppy drive, it, it didn't work. That's how I sounded when I was a kid. Uh, so I learned real quick that uh, you shouldn't do that when you're uh, booting up um, and, and testing hardware like that. Uh, either way, uh, we've written an article for you, not about how to destroy your father's computer and possibly lose your life before you've really begun it, but how to save money on computer repair. It's posted for you. The link is in the description for this video. Please uh, feel free to click along and share it. I'm going to go ahead and plus one, tweet, and like it. And hopefully you will as well, especially if you're into computer repair and saving money. And come on. I know our audience, they love PCs, they love tweaking, they love getting in there and getting their hands dirty and causing smoke to rise from their PC. Really, you have no idea. The, I was afraid for my life. <clears throat> so uh, how to save money? We've got a few suggestions, including knowing that technicians don't always know the best solution. Uh, you may have uh, you know, overheard a conversation where someone was trying to explain how to fix a problem only to realize, dude, they're full of it. They don't know what they're talking about. That's the wrong solution for the same problem. There's a better way of doing it. And there's one thing I know about a lot of you geeks is you're not afraid to share what's on your mind. Uh, so keep in mind, um, they may very well uh, overcharge you for uh, computer repair. Sometimes it's okay to get uh, you know, a second opinion on uh, service and uh, support uh, for one particular system or another. Uh, you know, another question in terms of, uh, you know, saving money on computer repair is potentially by going to smaller shops. And this is something that even though it's been a while, I used to do. If I needed help, uh, if I wanted the skinny on something, I would go to a mom and pop shop uh, and, and deal with them directly because I know that the owner uh, would generally uh, give me uh, the straight scoop. Uh, and, you know, there are exceptions to every rule. Sometimes reading reviews and ratings uh, will help, uh, you know, make sure that, or I should say, ensure that you're not going to get ripped off. But by dealing with a smaller shop, uh, they don't have uh, the same overhead as those larger uh, superstores might have, or even, you know, the online vendors. Uh, you know, dealing with someone face-to-face -face and, and, and really allowing you uh, to get... Uh, I have, I'd say, a more intimate relationship, I know that sounds a little strange, with the people who might be responsible for getting you back up to speed. I've worked with uh, smaller shops for a lot of house repairs, and they've not only saved me money, uh, but they, they've, they don't have you know, anything to hide, really. And I, I get that feeling when I'm dealing with a, a smaller business. I prefer working with smaller businesses uh, than bigger businesses, by and large. Not to say that the bigger businesses are bad. Uh, it's just that I feel like I'm, I'm getting a better, more bang for my buck. And yes, I want to know that the person who might be repairing something, whether it's a computer or something else, uh, is giving me uh, the straight scoop. 
so we've got a list of suggestions on how you can save money on computer repair, including, yes, DIY, which is short for do it yourself. Uh, you know, this is something that, uh, uh, you know, I did in college as well. I didn't, didn't do, I didn't do a lot of hardware stuff, but I did a lot of software troubleshooting. Uh, and it's funny, uh, Joshush812 on YouTube says, uh, you probably have a friend that knows of computers, so you can ask him and pay him with a lunch. I used to do things for beverages and munchies all the time back in the day. Uh, and as Andrew G notes in the Nomi's chat room, DIY can lead to failure. You can join us in the private Nomi's chat room right now. Actually, while you're watching the video, head over to nomies.com uh, and you can either sign up for a monthly or an annual subscription. Uh, Jay Rimmer notes, my old MacBook Pro caught fire. Well, the old MagSafe did, but then yeah, luckily I came in when I did. Wow. Did you get a video of that? Whew. You, know, you want to talk about something that would go viral. I mean, not to say that you know, Apple computers give you viruses. I mean, I, I'm saying that, you know, the viral is in, you know, viral marketing and it spreads. I want to go bacterial, honestly. Protozoal. No one's done that yet. Fungal? If you have any other suggestions on how to save money without getting a virus, <clears throat> you can comment here, go to the article, take a look at the entire list of tips, and give us your suggestions. We're here to help.